Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cloudy Sheep and we are playing the Rule of the Waves as the US in war against the UK. Uh, things are going somewhat okay for us. Uh, we did have a complete engagement uh, last time which was a bit undecisive because it was only a couple of uh, minutes I think before uh, the game ended or, or the day ended so uh, yeah we weren't really able to inflict any damage. On the other hand not that much damage inflicted to us. Um, there are a couple of ships sunk in this um, war as of yet, um, especially minesweepers and all of the other things that are um, killed by submarines. On the other hand, we can see that on the British side, uh, we already um, destroyed one of their uh, heavy cruisers, or battle cruisers rather, um, which is a good, good thing. We are currently trying to uh, engage in Southeast Asia. The Brits have a couple of light cruisers here, but nothing really too fancy, and there isn't that much around. You can see that maybe, yeah, there's a destroyer or two destroyer around here. Um, but yeah, they are not sending anything bigger, so I think what we can do is um, get our people from up here, uh, these heavy cruisers, uh, which are a bit of an issue. They, they don't, they're not the best. Uh, ships to be honest. So I think at least one of these should be able to go to Southeast Asia, right? Uh, so which one would, would we want to take? I think the Pueblo definitely should move to Southeast Asia. There we go. Um, can we in fact send you to active fleet or would that... yes, that would be okay. So then we don't need to um, yeah, send it back and forth again. In fact, we're going to send this one down as well, but it might travel up again nevertheless, so not that much of that we can do about it. should be fine though. So that's one thing. The other thing being that, um, as you can see, the Brits have concentrated a lot of ships in the Caribbean, um, and I think we need to counter that. So let's see what we have on the East Coast and what we can and should be sending downwards, maybe. Um, I think the Nevada class here with the 14-inch um, guns would be a lovely addition. Um, the Pennsylvania, one of our biggest, baddest ships, 12, 14 inch guns. Yeah, I think we pretty much want to send everything down there. Um, maybe we want to keep um, a single battle cruiser in, um, in the North American East Coast. But so far, I think all of that should be fine. Um, the Jefferson, maybe the Constitution, so the Constitution is being um, refurbished, so I think maybe we'll uh, leave the uh, Lexington up here. You. Yes, right. Yeah, never mind. Um, so the Lexington up here will stay on the east coast, everything else uh, will travel downwards. Uh, same for the battleships, we will simply send them downwards. Uh, the reason we are keeping one battle cruiser is to keep, get uh, rid of any pirates or raiders uh, that might be traveling on that um, in that location. Let's see what we have on the east coast. Then the Lexington up here. Um, that's fine. That's what we want to do. In fact, um, then we have um, a couple of light cruisers. I think we can send the Providences, um, which are fairly modern ships, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's send Providences down to the Caribbean as well. There we go. Um, other than that, these are all fairly, fairly old chips. So I think it's going to be fine to keep them. Maybe get a couple of fanning classes um, down as well. What what have we got in the Caribbean fannings? We basically split them, right? Yeah. How many destroyers would then be left on? the east coast well various to be honest so yeah let's let's move these ships get them to the Caribbean there we go that's fine and we do have a bit of money left so what I'm gonna do is go to build fort with the motorboat squadron in wait a minute where do we have them actually uh, we do we have them in Puerto Rico so I think we're gonna build two in Guantanamo, Guantanamo Bay. There we go. Let's build two. Uh, they only take eight months to build, so I think this is going to be fine. There we go. Six months even. 
Not sure why that is, but not going to complain. Um, and we're going to build two more in, maybe not, um, yeah, let's actually do one in Maine and one in Eastern US. Um, I don't think there's any other location in here, is there? In Eastern US, there's Maine, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so, actually, we do have in Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, we could do Virgin Islands, we could do Cuba as well. Yeah, so let's build one more in Maine. Let's build two more in Cuba. There we go. And these really don't cost anything to build. So you know what, let's also build two in the Virgin Islands. Virgin Islands, there we go. There we go, fine. I think that's going to be a great addition. Let's see whether we can get a good fight over here. A couple of minesweepers finishing, that's fine. Uh, army wants uh, more resources. I think we can uh, deliver that to them. Okay, um, some generic improvements in ship design. Improved portable turrets, that's excellent. And eliminates rate of fire penalties, so that's excellent. Two US submarines sunk, that's not so great. US submarine, US raid is doing a lot of things. Yeah, let's fight this battle in the west coast, was it? Yes, west coast. Uh, it's pretty late in the day, but let's see what we spot. There we go. No, that's not what I meant. There we go. We spot a ship. I think this can only be a light cruiser because I checked before what they, what the Brits had in the area. Nevertheless, let's take five minutes here. Is it a heavy cruiser? I don't think they even have any anymore. Let's try to cut in. There we go. Stop. Calypso class. What are you? A lot of four inch guns. We should have six inch guns. We do. So I think it might be worthwhile to try to keep our distance a little bit, um, just so, uh, well, we'll probably not be able to do that. Let's try to be somewhat um, balanced. Also, I want to, I always keep on forgetting where's that overlay there. So yeah, we get our full broadside, whereas they don't seem to be firing at all, which is excellent news for us. Of course, there we go, first hit, more hits, and they even seem to be slowing down, there it goes, I think we might to try to cut along here, one of our turrets seems to be out of action too, and we are launching torpedoes really at that range. They are trying to run away though, you, you, have I selected you? Go there, there we go. Uh, let's just try to keep it running. Every now and then I need to reference my firing range. But for now we don't seem to be firing. Damn it, night. That means we have to close in and that again means uh, we will be probably within the range of their point guns, uh, which I'd rather not be. But it can't be helped. There we go. Come on, just a couple of hits really. So we are chasing them now, which, um, eh. come on, come on, spotted, there, and I think we lost it. Ooh. Or maybe not. And uh, let's take single turns here because I really don't. There we go, good hit. So our two, two chasing guns here. Um, campfire, which I think is very lovely, uh, but we don't want to overtake them really, because that would allow their broadside to be fired on us, which might not be great for us because they have these smaller guns which can deliver a high volume of fire. Maybe not great at range, but certainly very devastating out at short range. Um, I think we need to be slightly slower even. Um, can you actually stay fixed? So I get a better bearing info here. We are still firing. Um, yeah, slower, slower, slower. 
heavy damage. How fast are you? Speed 10. Um, I seem to be running away now. But we are scoring hits, so that's good to see. Do we have info on them? Yeah. I think their rear gun is out of action, and now they're burning. Lovely to see. Still need to be a bit quicker. There we go. Stop. Okay, they are trying to cut along there, so. Let's try to wiggle around a bit, maybe get a couple of broadsides. I mean, we are basically at point blank range here, so... They are sinking, lovely, so that should uh, mean... We're even undamaged, look at that, so... Whereas these guys... They should be sinking, there we go. Raising steam! <laughs> um, I think we destroyed their um, bridge at some point. Can we get the lock entries? Mm, yeah, so here you go. Some of the very first things were engine room hits. I mean, they weren't penetrating, but I think they should very much um, try to. Or should have been very bad for them. Mm. Well, they don't immediately see a, a conning tower hit. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. And it's penetrating. Critical hit, so yeah. Definitely good, good fight. I mean, not a fleet engagement at, at any range, but 400 points. It's something. Um, commission, commission, commissioned. Fighting. Some engine trouble, some AMCs, which are always very nasty. And flexible from them is damaged as well. But all in all, good turn. This guy is still repairing. What a weenie. This view. This guy is still repairing, which is fine. You're fair, why are you fair? I think you are pretty much working out in a way. We are losing some money now, which I think is due to the armor offensive. Let's see whether the Brits still are here in force. Not quite as much um, as before. They withdrew a couple of forces to West Africa, which I find a bit puzzling. If they're trying to get around to here, we'll have to keep an eye on them, um, especially over there. Light crews up here. No more ships up here in, on the west coast. So, what have we got on the west coast? These Tacoma class um, light cruisers, one of which just did the job very well. Um. We'll keep them around for now, I think. Or maybe we'll even send one to uh, Northeast Asia. Just because I see that there's one light cruiser from Ritz up here. So, yeah, just try to keep it balanced, all in all. One AMC down there. Um, what are we doing in terms of construction? Just a minesweeper, a couple of submarines, well, and these. Just the things, uh, motor, bo <laughs> motor, torpedo, boat, squadrons. Okay, that's fine, I think. Looks okay. Uh, we don't need to send any uh, troops northwards here. Still, still a lot of ships down here. Ooh. Why does it not actually show show a bar for, for the Brits? Is it because the battleship is interned or, or damaged? So what, what have we got on these guys? Just relaxing. I think we'll send the radar up there as well. So that, you know, if they get into a battle, then at least we have two ships versus the one. Yeah, I think that ship might be fine. Let's take another turn. Yes, we knew. Few submarines being sunk is not so great, honestly. Cruise action on the southeast boat. Yeah. Let's accept that. Um, Medium-sized battle, so should be worth something. There we go. Two of our um, heavy cruisers. These guys here. Um, two light cruisers. You no, know, you can scout independently. You guys here are screening, I suppose. Yes, you are. Fine. Lovely. 
Let's see whether we find anyone, or who we find rather, where he is up there. Obviously just uh, speed ahead. Lots of small ships. There seems to be... there is actually a battle cruiser in the flexible class. We did not know about that earlier. Seems to be doing fine. Um, still, just four 13-inch guns, whereas we now have um, 16 guns on our disposal, so I think that might be better. Um, their ships are slightly less um, powerful, um, but... Oh, sorry, uh, their ships, their guns might are slightly more powerful, I'm supposed to say. Um, you, you guys go there. Uh, also sh showing that, um, that in that view, there we go. I think that's fine. And then we are trying to go just directly south. Um, we can dial down on the speed a bit, and we should very soon be able to fire on them. Yeah, there we go. Exactly. So you guys are firing on the inflexible and, in fact, scoring a hit right away. Very lovely to see. Uh, from their side, they only have one gun in action. From our side, uh, all, of, all of our guns are firing. There we go, more hits, which I find very lovely. I think we can actually dial down a bit more on the speed, even just so we are not uh, losing our great position here. Um, you are firing on the Raleigh? It's a bit rude. Okay, medium guns, so no. Um, but yeah, more more 12 inch hits on them. Now they are in fact, no, their front gun is out of action. That's, that's lovely to see. More hits from us on them. They're more or less parallel, which I find very lovely. Um, 15 knots, that's really, really slow. I think we could try to cut in behind them. Just give them hell from that side. There we go, lots of good, good hits on them. Though, I think the last time we were facing an inflexible class as well, and it took us... Ooh, they're burning. Um, and it took us around about 80 hits to, uh, no, that was not great, um, 80 hits just to be able to um, sink them. And 80 hits is a lot. It, it's really a lot. Um, especially on this this sort of caliber. Come on, the rear guns into action. There we go. Very fire now. I mean, they are light damage, slow, 10 knots. Let's make sure that our guys are firing. Yeah, they are. All guns as well. They must be so hampered by the smoke, though. But yeah, the rear gun is still in action, so... They're definitely trying to withdraw, so... Let's maybe try to go this way. Are you still firing with all your guns? You are. That's... no, uh, not anymore. Go a bit faster then. Come on, can get the rear guns into action. Well, interesting enough, our secondary battery is firing as well. Um, can you go due west? Ah, one of our turrets is out of action. That's going more hits in, though. More and more hits. Come on. I think they at least extinguished their fire, but they are still burning, so. Is that secondary battery is firing on the destroyers, which I find lovely as well, because at some point they might try to do something fancy, but they in fact are being spot on hits as well. As <laughs> we are scoring hits on them as well, is what I mean to say, um, and that of course is very nice to see. Uh, but I really don't want to have to have the inlay of these guys. I want to have the inlay of our guys or their guys. And now the situation has reversed a bit, and they're back. Turret is out of action, and I think they just stopped more or less. Well, they actually seem to stop, so you know what? Let's go slightly slower and let's um, try to take a turn over here and um, go up right behind them, where they can't seem to be firing at all. This ruble class here is damaged. 
and I think the Dune Clause as well. Lots of hits. The Richmond is actually firing on the River Clause, so that's interesting. Right, um, yeah, I was about to say that probably our um, ammo is starting to run low, but look at all of these hits. Um, but I think the issue is still that we probably cannot penetrate um, their belt armor, which was the issue last time. We scored lots and lots of hits on them, uh, but we just weren't able to, to do sufficient damage um, on that point. Uh, guys, what are you doing? You are awfully close to, to a still working battle cruiser, I have to say. That's that's really not eh, I mean you are launching torpedoes, which uh, at least is a good idea. But yeah, there you go. I mean of course you're being shot at. <laughs> what did you expect? Uh, let's try to run run it around. Uh, I'm not sure whether I, I'm happy with you trying to run around this way. Actually, I think I want you to go this way. Drayton is hit by a torpedo. One of our destroyers is being hit by a torpedo? That's weird. You? Rotation? Really? Um, okay, let's, let's not have you be IA controlled. Speed zero, that seems to be fine. You go that way. Enemy inflexible is hit by a torpedo. Not sure who launched that. Maybe the Richmond. Ribble is hit. That's good. Medium damage. The Druun, I think, is going to escape. Well, maybe not. The Ru is launching a torpedo as well. How's the Drayton doing? I think it will sink. I mean, the torpedo hit on the destroyer. That's, of course, very, very much. Another hit, torpedo hit on the inflexible, so the yeah, Drayton is sinking. I thought, I thought so. The inflexible clause is hit by four-inch guns from Perkins. Why are you doing that? Why, why are you firing four-inch guns on on the battle cruiser? And you, um, I know. Just can you be core or something? Don't don't try to run quite as close, please. Flexible class being hit by all of the things more and more, and it's still not sinking. Heavy damage, yes, but not sinking. And that's just such a big volume of fire that we put on them. You can see our frontal guns don't even. I'm not sure whether they're not firing because of the angle or because of the ammo. Oops. Maybe a bit of both, really, but there we go. So, Battlecruiser sunk. Uh, one of our destroyers sunk, but <laughs> that was to be expected. Uh, two of their destroyers sunk, some other thing not, uh, but still, of course, a major victory for us. Let's again, let's look at the Invincible up here. Um, and the, sorry, the, yeah, yeah, it's the, the Invincible and Inflexible Class Cruiser. Man, these Brits. Um, we took out one of their two directors, which of course is entirely pointless, but apparently not the um, conning tower. Um, all of that is, I think, more or less irrelevant gun caliber. Minus two? Does that mean it's really, really horrible? Probably it does mean that. Um, but yeah, let's let's see the lock entries over here. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the turret. Um, Turret top, so turret um, A was disabled early in the battle, which is, I think, was very de uh, decisive. But yeah, um, that's good. Secondary scores are hit on the Raleigh. Yeah, secondary battery was hit. Extended belt, no issue penetrating, but normal belt even at eight inches. Um, that's that's a lot. That's that's. I mean, why are we not? Penetrating the main armor. Eight inches. It's it's not it's not a huge armor. And even later in the battle when we were very close, yeah, still. Okay, that's just a six inch gun. But but can we see? Did we have a, a hit on 
the bell of something more substantial. Yeah, okay, so when we were kind of close, 9,000 yards, uh, we did penetrate, so that's at least good to know. But yeah, um, anyone else being hit and in an appreciable amount of time? Well, the Raleigh up here, how were you hit? Six inch gun. Yeah, so one six inch gun hit. And that's it. Good, good. Lovely. Let's look at the scenario. Let's see all of our juicy points up here. That's very nice to see. Um, so, second in. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Um, ah, damn it. Second British BC sinking. There we go, very nice. Money is still a bit of an issue. Um, no capital ships are affected from any repairs anymore. Even that light cruiser, I can't see any any um, need for repair there. So that's nice to see. Um, so where do we stay now? In fact, we have the same number of battle cruisers. Ours are slightly higher in tonnage. Uh, we have one more battleship, uh, although they are building one, which will be finished when Battleship finished. This one building. And in 26, so two more years, yeah. That's fine. Um, so that's good. We are also building um, a battle cruiser. And all in all, we have more um, more tonnage and capital ships. So that's very lovely to see. We can see they moved, in fact, most of their ships up here. So we need to be a bit wary of that and of the fact that they are sending heavy forces down here to probably reinforce Singapore. That being said, I think this was a good episode, so thank you guys for watching and to see you again next time. Bye bye!